Here we go, you ready? 500 watt motor. Like, you know how many bikes I can do this on? Not many. Look at this. This is a 500 watt motor, people. This is really thick grass. Really thick grass. We're at a dead stop. Can it pull me through? Yeah. You know who can't freaking do that? A Super 73 with a 750 watt motor. All right, people. Today we're looking at the Van Powers Urban Glide Pro. It has a 500 watt motor with what I would consider to be about 900 peak. Uh, it has some really good torque. It has it built into the down tube here. It has a 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery for just under 700 watt hours. The Urban Glide Pro has a uh, front suspension forks with some nice depression lockout and uh, adjustment there. Um, 180 millimeter rotors, hydraulic disc brakes in the front and back, which is nice. Um, there is no rear suspension, but it does have a nice seat with a little bit of depression. You can see it actually goes down and it is a little adjustable. Um, <clears throat> and uh, has um, micro shift gearing. It has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like it has eight gears and it has five pedal assist levels. You can see here, five pedal assist levels. And uh, this little uh, display it gives you speed, gives you time of day, battery, miles, odometer, trip, etc. It's a nice, big, bright, uh, colorful display. A um, couple other interesting things about this bike is you have right here is an Allen key and you can tilt the handlebars all the way back up. So if you're on the smaller side, you think about how much closer you could get those handlebars. You get the handlebars all the way to here. You know what I mean? You could literally bring the handlebars all the way up to here. And look how much closer you are to the seat. So if you're smaller or shorter, you can bring the handlebars up and forward. Uh, or back towards you, excuse me. Um, it has a front and rear headlight. If you push the up button right here, it turns the uh, display on. If you push this button, yeah, the light comes on. See, it's got a front headlight and it has a rear tail light, which is nice. I believe if you pull the brake, yeah, it goes on and off. So that's pretty cool. And it has a uh, you know built-in rack, which is nice for uh, groceries, gym bag, uh, your work bag, uh, anything you need to put back there. And um, yeah, that's it. And it has some, you know, real nice attention to detail with a nice uh, cabling. Um, it has, let's see what else. Micro shift uh, shifter. Um, here's your thumb throttle. And uh, like I said, hydraulic disc brakes with the mineral oil. Just a nice looking bike and you're gonna see in a minute just how much torque it has for a 500 watt motor it's pretty crazy all right oh, i've got the air i've got the pirate the tires pumped up nice and we're gonna do some testing of the torque of this little beast uh it's a nice step through version i didn't say that uh, it has fenders and um my wife has been with me on this youtube journey for a long time and I've um, owned about 25 e-bikes and tested quite a few. And she always looks at them and she's like, wow, that's, that's a really cool looking bike. And I said, yeah, honestly, this is probably, if all the of all the bikes that I've had, this would probably be the one I would want her to keep. Because it's very high quality, it's stepped through, it's powerful, um, has some really good pedal assist, really good throttle, and uh, you know, decent sized battery. So, and it's just got the handlebars that lift up, you know, and it's got the front suspension, the suspension seat post. So it's not terribly expensive, but it has all the accoutrements you're looking for. You know what I mean? So, all right. So now we're gonna do a uh, speed test on flat on uh, throttle only. It's hard to see. Yeah, it stops at 20. I don't know if there's the ability to un uh, unlock this, but it stops at 20. Uh, the motor isn't really uh, a high speed motor as much as it's a torque motor. A lot of e-bikes, I'm not gonna mention names, have 500 watt motors and they really peak right around 600, maybe, you know, maybe 650. This thing, from my experience, probably peaks 
around 900. It's got some really nice torque. And uh, you notice it from a dead stop, you notice it going through grass. Um, it's just, it's got some nice pull to it, you know? For a 500 watt, you know, it's pretty impressive. So I'm impressed with that. And uh, you know, it's a nice upright feel. Um, everything seems like high quality. I don't know, a lot of bikes I just say, <clears throat> just feel, you know, kind of flimsy to me. This one feels very robust, very strong, very capable, uh, very dialed in. Uh, you don't feel, hear anything, you know, uh, jiggling. Uh, the components are solid, you can tell. Nothing's gonna just come loose on you. Um, I haven't used this in the past, but there's some brands that are like a one-year bike. When we bought a couch several years back, they're like, oh, do you want a two-year couch or a 10-year couch? And we're like, what the hell, is, what? And you can imagine what that means. It's a couch that's gonna last you two years and you just buy a new one or a 10-year couch. Obviously, a 10-year couch is quite a bit more. This is not very expensive, but it's more of like a, two, a three or four-year bike as opposed to a one-year bike. A lot of bikes, you know, kind of flimsy, mechanical disc brakes, you know, the cords, the cables, the, the quick releases, the bolts, everything's just kind of crap. Everything's flimsy, and it's a one-year bike. This is like a three-year bike, you know? This could last you a long time. So, um, for, the, uh, for the price, I mean, you're getting a really solid bike here. So let's test out pedal assist levels, okay? So this is pedal assist one. It's hard to, my glasses like make things really dark. It's like, I can see nice and easy. As soon as I put my glasses on, it's hard to see. So it's, it's kind of hard for me to tell, but okay. Pedal assist one in a low gear. You know, it gives you a little bit of help, not much. Pedal assist two. Not a whole lot more, you know? Pedal Assist 3, you start to feel it a little bit. Pedal Assist 4 kind of takes off on you. And let's see about Pedal Assist 5 here in a minute. We're gonna actually go up this hill and Pedal Assist 5 and see what that's all about. All right, Pedal Assist 5. Yeah, Pedal Assist 5 has a huge jump. So one, two, and three, I mean, one and two, not a big jump, not, not a lot. Three is a nice little sizable jump. Four is a big jump from three. And then five is really powerful. Um, yeah, I'm just flying up this at 16 miles an hour and I'm barely even pedaling. So, pedal assist is really nice. <clears throat> um, the bike says it has 696 watt hour battery, which is 48 volt, 14 point something amp hour. I would say that throttle only, you're probably looking at about 20, 25, based on my experience. The Urban Glide Pro is just, it's very comfortable. It's very upright. It's very, um, yeah, it's comfortable even with the, no suspension in the back. The seat post does you right. I'm telling you, it really does. Jesus Christ. A lot of really challenging drivers around here, people. Or challenged drivers. <clears throat> so yeah, this thing, I was just at a dead stop, and now I'm going 20 miles an hour. I mean, throttle only. This thing's got some nice takeoff. Um, we're going to go as far as we can go in throttle only. <clears throat> and then we're going to switch to pedal assist. <clears throat> so pedal assist, there's five levels, like it says, and then there's a neutral. Obviously neutral, you have no power. Uh, all right. Throttle only. And let's see what we get here, people. Most 750 watts can't even do what I'm doing right now. Right now, I can tell you it's about a 12% grade. And I'm 200 and I've been losing weight. I'm 207 pounds, people. And uh, yeah, it's going to level off here in a second to like 8%, but then it's going to go up to like 14%. And it's taking me up this hill, no problem. Zero problem. And we're going 10 miles an hour. Like, really? I mean, that's freaking impressive, people. I don't know what the hell brand these guys are using for motor but like jesus everybody else should be using this motor and the you know the speed control whatever that is look at this are you serious remember i said earlier i'm probably not going to get up it and throttle this is this is insane people this is 14 percent grade right here and we're still going like really oh my god this is insane people this is insane and we're not barely making it. We're going seven miles an hour. Like, are you serious? 
Wow. This is the colossal hill around here. This is the kingdom come. This is the big one. And I freaking made it up this thing. Throttle only, people. Are you serious? So yeah, I might even go as far as to say this thing has a thousand watt peak. 500 watt motor, thousand watt peak. That's insane. You have no idea how many bikes I've taken up here that couldn't do what that just did. Like, oh my God. And they're mostly a 750 watt. Holy bejesus. Wow, people. Got a powerful motor on this little thing. I don't get it. I don't get how a 500 watt can have that much torque, but it does. Wow. And so, I mean, all in all, it's like a pretty solid bike, people. Especially for the price. Like, I, you know, um, I would definitely consider this. Okay, now we're on like a little fire road, if you will. It's a dirt path at a park, but it's got some uh, hard packed dirt and a little bit of loose sand on it and a little bit of rocks on the top. And you can see that I'm negotiating this well. See? There's a little dirt for you, people. No problem, and I'm not feeling much. There's some bouncing, a little bit of bumps, but I'm, the seat handles me well, and the front suspension forks handle it, and I'm not feeling it anywhere. Yes. Very nice. So yeah, I'm pretty high on this bike, people. I think um, it's weird. I mean, I don't want to uh, mention too many other bikes, but there are some other bikes in my mind that this compares with, and I, and it, you know, they're some of my favorite bikes, and it, it compares well with them. So I'll just leave it at that. Okay. Mm.